In October 2023, several countries around the world experienced extreme weather events that caused floods, snowstorms, and landslides, resulting in deaths, injuries, and damages. Here is a summary of some of the major incidents that occurred in different regions. Italy, heavy rain, and floods in Rome. On October 18, 2023, the Italian capital Rome was hit by heavy rain that caused flash floods and disrupted traffic and public services. According to the Italian Civil Protection Agency, the rainfall reached 118 millimeters in 24 hours, which is more than the average for the whole month of October. The agency issued a red alert for the city and urged residents to avoid unnecessary travel. The floods affected several areas of Rome, especially the historic center in the suburbs. Many streets were submerged in water, and some cars were swept away by the currents. The subway system was partially closed, and several bus lines were diverted or suspended. Some schools and offices also closed due to the weather conditions. The Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi visited Rome on October 19 and expressed his solidarity with the affected people. He also announced that the government would allocate 150 million euros for emergency relief and recovery efforts. He said that the floods were a consequence of climate change and called for more actions to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and adapt to the changing environment. According to the latest reports, at least two people died and several others were injured due to the floods in Rome. One of the victims was a 27-year-old woman who drowned in her basement apartment after water flooded into her home. The other victim was a 69-year-old man who was electrocuted while trying to pump water out of his garage. Ghana Landslide at Akasombo Dam On October 18, 2023, a landslide occurred at the Akasombo Dam in Ghana, which is the largest hydroelectric power plant in West Africa. The landslide was triggered by heavy rain that loosened the soil on the slopes of the dam. The landslide blocked the spillway of the dam and caused water to overflow from the reservoir. The overflow of water from the dam created a flood that affected several communities downstream. The flood damaged houses, farms, roads, and bridges, and displaced thousands of people. The flood also disrupted the power supply from the dam, which provides electricity to about 80% of Ghana's population. The Ghanaian authorities declared a state of emergency and mobilized rescue teams and relief supplies to assist the affected people. They also sought international help to clear the landslide and restore the normal operation of the dam. The Chinese company that built the dam, China Water Resources and Hydropower Engineering Corporation sent engineers and equipment to join the recovery efforts. According to the Ghanaian Ministry of Energy, at least five people died and dozens more were injured due to the landslide and flood at Akasombo Dam. The ministry also estimated that the economic losses from the incident could reach hundreds of millions of dollars. Thailand floods in northern provinces. In October 2023, Thailand's northern provinces suffered from floods caused by continuous heavy rain. The rain was influenced by the southwest monsoon that brought moisture from the Andaman Sea and the Gulf of Thailand. The rain also triggered landslides in some mountainous areas. The floods affected 42 districts in 12 provinces, including Chiang Mai, Chiang Rai, Phayao, Nan, Phrae, Lampang, Lamphan, Sukothi, Fitsinolak, Phaishit, Uttaradit, and Take. More than 62,000 households were impacted by the floods, and over 10,000 people were evacuated to shelters. Some roads and bridges were also damaged or closed due to the floods. The Thai authorities issued flood warnings for 32 provinces and advised people to stay alert and follow official instructions. They also deployed military personnel and volunteers to help with rescue and relief operations. They distributed food, water, medicine, and other necessities to the affected people. According to the Thai Ministry of Public Health, at least 23 people died and 33 others were injured due to the floods and landslides in northern Thailand since September 1. The ministry also warned about possible health risks from contaminated water, such as diarrhea, athlete's foot, fungal infections, and mental stress. Australia, snowstorms in New South Wales. On October 17, 2023, snowstorms hit parts of New South Wales. 
NSW, Australia's most populous state, the snowstorms were caused by a cold front that moved across southeastern Australia from Antarctica. The snowstorms brought strong winds, low temperatures, and heavy snowfall to some areas. The snowstorms affected several regions in NSW, including the Blue Mountains, the Central Tablelands, the Southern Highlands, and the Snowy Mountains. The snowstorms created a winter wonderland for some residents and tourists who enjoyed playing and taking pictures in the snow. However, the snowstorms also caused power outages, road closures, and travel disruptions for others. The Australian Bureau of Meteorology issued severe weather warnings for parts of NSW and advised people to avoid unnecessary travel and stay indoors. The Bureau also forecast more snowfall and frost for the next few days. The Bureau said that the snowstorms were unusual for this time of the year, as spring is usually a warmer season in Australia. According to the latest reports, no deaths or injuries were reported due to the snowstorms in NSW. However, some farmers and wildlife rescuers expressed concern about the impact of the snowstorms on the crops and animals, especially after the recent droughts and bushfires that affected the state. Germany, snowfall in southern regions. On October 16, 2023, snowfall occurred in some southern regions of Germany, surprising many people who were expecting a mild autumn. The snowfall was caused by a low-pressure system that brought cold air from Scandinavia and Russia. The snowfall was accompanied by rain, hail, and thunderstorms in some areas. The snowfall affected parts of Bavaria, baden württemberg Hesse, and Thuringia. The snowfall covered some mountains and forests with a white layer of snow, creating a scenic view for some observers. However, the snowfall also caused traffic accidents, flight delays, and train cancellations for others. The German Weather Service issued weather warnings for parts of southern Germany and advised people to be careful and prepared for slippery roads and icy conditions. The service also predicted more snowfall and frost for the next few days. The service said that the snowfall was not unusual for this time of the year, as autumn is a transitional season in Germany. According to the latest reports, at least three people died and several others were injured due to the snowfall in southern Germany. One of the victims was a 65-year-old man who crashed his car into a tree after losing control on a snowy road. The other two victims were a 34-year-old woman and a 4-year-old boy who were hit by a falling tree branch while walking in a park. Israel floods in Jerusalem on October 15, 2023, floods occurred in Jerusalem, Israel's capital city. The floods were caused by heavy rain that fell on the city after a long period of drought. The rain was part of a regional storm system that also affected neighboring countries such as Jordan, Lebanon, Syria, and Palestine. The floods affected several areas of Jerusalem, especially the low-lying and old parts of the city. Many streets were flooded with water, and some cars were stranded or washed away by the currents. The drainage system was overwhelmed by the rainwater, and some sewers overflowed or burst. Some houses and shops were also flooded or damaged by the water. The Israeli authorities declared a state of emergency and mobilized rescue teams and emergency services to assist the affected people. They also urged residents to stay away from flooded areas and follow official instructions. They also closed some roads and public facilities due to the floods. According to the latest reports, at least four people died and dozens more were injured due to the floods in Jerusalem. One of the victims was a 28-year-old woman who drowned in her basement apartment after water flooded into her home. The other three victims were a 72-year-old man, 55-year-old woman, and a 12-year-old girl who were electrocuted by live wires that came into contact with water.